to hear me now. Thank you and sorry about the um, confusion then. We just started the broadcast. You should be able to hear my screen. And uh, Jill, you should be able to hear me now. Good afternoon or good evening, guys. Thank you guys so much for joining. So if you can hear me, please, uh, your, your chat is enabled. Just pop in and say a quick uh, hi here. So I did enable that for you guys. So you should be able to hear. The screen is looking a little funky because I'm going to get ready to show you um, some a PowerPoint right here, right now. So you should be able to hear me. Good, good evening, guys. If this is the first time on my webinar Wednesdays, welcome. We have uh, awesome Jill. I'm glad that you can hear me. Hi, Sandy and Greg. Thanks for, for chiming in and joining. I'm glad that we were having some technical difficulties there, but we're good to go. All right, guys. So we are going to talk today about um, systems, right? We're going to talk about uh, uh, specific Berkshire systems that we have for you guys to fortify your systems for sellers when working with sellers. So this today particularly, I wanna get into uh, what systems and tools we offer for you guys when you're trying to acquire or get that listing presentation, but also when you're trying to, when you're marketing the property and then also at close of escrow or during escrow so that you are you understand where, where to find things, right? So I purposely uh, did not open my screens yet as to where I'm going to be going for your for where the tools are located so that I can show you how to get there because that's one of the hardest things. Um, where do I find the stuff, right? So I'm going to be showing you as we go and feel free again to pop in and with any questions. I do have my cell phone right next to me as well. So if you guys have any questions, either text me or chat right here right next to me. So let's get started, guys. Okay, so seller tools to fortify your systems. So getting that appointment, right? In real estate world, what we call this is basically um, lead generation, right? How are we going to get that appointment? And to start with that, we offer an array of tools that you guys can use so that you don't get stumped and you're being consistent with your efforts. So let's go again and start with the first one. Cold Realty. So Cold Realty, guys, is a system. It's a phone system. It's actually a system where you can uh, pull phone numbers, phone numbers of uh, homeowners, and it is only their landlines, but it's better than not having anything, right? And so it's it's a system where you, what you need to do is you need to send the an address, a specific address, whether it's gonna be in your open house, uh, where you're trying to generate more leads, or whether you're trying to do um, a just listed, just sold campaign, which we have those, uh, those scripts for you guys to start using. Uh, whether you're going to be doing offering a market analysis to your farm area uh, what it is is basically you give our, our admin for the Toronto agents you're going to give Betsy an email you're going to send Betsy an email with the address and you're going to send Katie an email with uh, with the address that you're looking for and she'll pull 1500 records around the around that uh, address you're giving her and then with those numbers you can start actually using them to to set appointments and like i said there's many reasons why you would want to call uh sellers one being for just listed or just sold like i mentioned uh you want to also call them for something that maybe an event that's happening in the neighborhood and offering a free market analysis maybe you're calling them um to talk to them about the new loan program that's available for them in their neighborhood. Maybe you're talking to them, anything that's a value, maybe you're providing market trends information. So you, there's so many different scripts that are in our book of scripts that you guys can start looking at, but just remember that if you do need phone numbers, and it's the easiest thing to do because you can time block for it, you can do it at your home office or at the office, and you really, really plunge into this, it's about being consistent and playing the numbers game, right? It's not gonna happen where you call, it may happen to you because you have really good energy and you're positive, that when you call and the first person you know, that answers wants to set an appointment with you, it's, it's really about the consistency in this industry and being doing it over and over again. So don't forget about that, guys, to actually get some appointments set. Uh, for FISBO and expired lists, there's a couple of ways that you guys, um, these tools are available for you. Uh, for example, first of all, like Fidelity National Title, some other title companies offer a FISBO list for you guys where they, they have some phone numbers. You can also purchase them through Mojo Dialer or Vulcan 7. And those are scrubbed a little bit more and they do have more accurate information as well as um, they have uh, cell phone numbers, which is kind of cool because everyone has picks up their cell phone. 
and and but that's more of a purchase for you guys or you can do your own legwork right you can do your own google research you can go to fisbo um, websites you can go to zillow.com right and in zillow.com you can look at the make me move or there's also a ton of um uh fisbo is there too you can look per city you can look per zip code you can look you can't look per neighborhood yet but they're definitely there. You can start by putting in the address. So I'll just show you guys really quick. Peoria. And it's Arizona, so you hit quick. It takes you to the entire city, of course. And now you can filter this to actually show you only um, for sale by owner. So you click on this, and you probably only want to do maybe you want to do land too and then here you're actually going to tell it I'm sorry right here listing type I'm going to do only by owner I want to do coming soon just to look well coming soon usually realtors put that up but I will look at it just in case I'm not going to look at foreclose pre foreclose but I do want to do a look at make me move because these are people that actually want to want to sell um, if they find the, the right you know offer if they find the right price so they're in here as well. You can, like I said, search by city. You can search by um, some zip codes. But here's a ton of for sale by owners just right here. There's 12 of them waiting for you guys to call them. So that's an easy way for you guys to um, get into setting appointments and using these tools consistently, right? Um, another thing that I'm going to really talk to you guys about uh, is the seller's advantage reports. Sometimes in order to get a listing appointment, we, we, we get stuck on what to use as far as um, um, marketing material, right? Uh, I always tell you guys about this report because I think it's fantastic. And it's in the resource center. So I will go to uh, the VAC center is our local site. And then um, the resource center is a national site. So in order to lo log into the VAC, you can just go to a regular website or to that intranet site and go to the bottom and click agent access, obviously, right? And then you're going to put your information. And you should have all of these passwords, of course. And one way to access the resource center is through here as well. It's under your resources. And I think, believe it's under technology, if I remember correctly. There it is. And that's the BHHS Resource Center. And then I'm going to log in, and you should have your passwords as well. But as I'm trying to land expires and visibles, especially, and, and pretty much a seller, um, remember that we have this cool report called Seller's Advantage. So I'm in the main page and I click Seller's Advantage and I'm in here now. So now, there's a ton of reports in here by the way. So I highly suggest we're going to be doing a training class just in the Resource Center. But I'm going to click on Manage My Sellers. And let's say there's a FISBO that I'm going after, right? Then what I would do is I would hit Create a New Report. And then I want to do the one with the map always because it's much more interactive. So I'm just going to, it's defaulted to the map. So I'm going to go next. And then I'm going to do, I'm going to put in the um, client's info. And this is cool. You can pull the information from tax records. If you don't have their email address, you can just put in your own email address. If, especially these are like FISBOs or expireds, you know. And then you want to put an address in of the property. Um, and you don't have to put an estimated price. You can you can do that if you like, but the system doesn't. Oh, you do have to put an estimated price, but it doesn't have to be very accurate. You don't. You should be doing comparative market analysis on these before, anyways, because remember, if you're focusing on for sale by owners or expireds, you're working on a very small group of them, so you can manage them. So it shouldn't be like a thousand, right? So you should have a really good idea of value, anyways, when you're trying to target these, because you're the go-to person. You're the person who's done their research, right? You're, there's no such thing. As a new agent, there's only such thing as an unprepared agent. So you plug in the information, and the cool part is that you know it really personalizes it, and it takes you to the next step. And then it's a single family. I'm just going to click that so it doesn't pull any townhomes or anything like that. You, it asks you what the radius search you want it to be. Uh, I'm just going to do five miles. You can do whatever you want, and then you're just going to click create report. Now you're going to create a report that shows the number of people searching for homes like the one that you plugged in, in there already on our websites. What's cool about this is that now you can approach the FISBO or the expired or even take this to your listing presentation and say, hey, by the way, just yesterday there were 31 people searching for a home just like yours. 
287 in the last week, 1,234 in the last 31 days, and seven people actually um, saved searches similar to your home. And then the seller is gonna tell you, well, do you know who these people are? Can you find them for me? And of course, because we can do targeted, um, um, targeted Facebook advertising or targeted uh, online advertising to really get to these people that are already searching for homes like theirs. So it's a really cool report that you can print and you can provide to these um, uh, sellers that you're trying to get appointments um, with, okay? So that's a really good report that I really want you guys to start using for your expireds and your FISBOs. All right, let's go to the next thing. So any questions on that one? Really quick, let me go back. If you guys have questions, plug them in, but I'm gonna keep going. All right, next thing, oopsie, to get that appointment, expired marketing. Uh, one of the things that we offer for you guys as well, and I have an expired letter that I use a lot, but expired marketing also, remember, is in our VAC system under go to marketing. This is our local marketing site. So on here, you're going to have a lot of different things that you can order here locally from our Scottsdale office. It also takes you to the impact marketing, which is our our partnership with impact marketing and they have more um, templates for you guys more direct mail stuff but go to marketing will give you information about expired it'll talk about different postcards and flyers and brochures um, there's letters there's uh, just listed just sold all of that stuff and like I said I have my own um, templated letter that I used all the time back in the day so feel free to reach out to me and I will send it to you as well. And it is all about personalization. It's about really um, uh, sending it with their names, with the picture of their house, so that you, they can see that, you know, you actually, uh, it's not just a random, you know, canvassing of mail. It's actually directed to someone who's already raised their hand, by the way, and somebody who, who, who was specifically and wanted to sell their house and it just didn't work out. So we have a ton of expired marketing there. Um, for sell by owners, I have a great survival kit. It's about 20 pages long and you guys can break it down. Um, let me see if I have it here so you guys can see it. And you can break it down and it, what it does, it's actually giving them ideas and help on, on actually selling, selling their home. So it's, instead of you trying to be salesy like everyone else, and trying to just, you know, talk about how amazing you are. Your strategy then becomes, one second here. Your strategy then becomes education. And when it becomes that way, you're, you're coming in from a very different um, approach, right? It's totally different. And let me, oh, here, I have the expired letter here too, guys, in case you want to see what it looks like. It's, it's going to open up right now. But this is an expired letter that I always used to get those listing appointments. All right, so here's my expired letter. So I find my expireds on the MLS. I always had this quote at the top, a picture of the property. You guys can pull pictures from Google. You know how they're everywhere. Or you can go take a picture yourself. Um, and then I just had verbiage in here about my marketing. And I always had my call to action and different things. So very easy. I, like I said, I would pick 10 to 20 expireds and then do personal, personalized letter. I wouldn't change it. I would keep sending it to them every week until I converted them into a listing appointment. Now for the first physical survival guide, again, it's not salesy anymore. You're actually telling them, hey, welcome to real estate. I know you're trying to sell your house yourself, 22 pages long, how to sell your home yourself for the highest possible price and avoid paying a big commission. So again, you're coming to them from a place of service. You're telling them, hey, if it doesn't work out, which eight out of 10 relist with an agent and sell it with an agent, then I'm here to help, right? And so it's a different approach, very, very different. And you don't have to drop it off in one, in one um, visit. You can actually um, drip them with it, either through email if you have their email or mail them different parts of this survival kit. It goes into financing the contract and stuff like that. So now you're giving them information. Another really cool way to do this is to do videos, do a video series of how to, you know, for, for sell by owners and target them on Facebook. Um, you can also use this as a email drip campaign, you know, and get a list of FISBOs and drip them with this information. So there's a million ways to use this and you're coming up service. 
So I can email this to you guys as well. Many of you guys already actually have it. Database, you need a, a database, guys, uh, especially if you're going after FISBOs or uh, expired. They do not convert. You know, they try to sell to them, right? They try to sell their own house for three to six months before they convert. If you do not stay in touch, good luck. They're never going to call you back. They're, they're going to forget who you are. So you got to stay in touch through different avenues. You know, there's very ingenious ways now to stay in touch with them through AdWords and through Facebook and through different online ways, right? That's one way, but the phone, visiting, dropping up things of value. That's why you want to have um, a, a database that will not only keep you organized, but will strip them with your emails. And if they don't have an email, then you got to find other ways to stay in touch. That's where the follow-up system comes in, right? Many times I've shown you guys the follow-up system, which let me just get in here so I can show it to you. It's about getting organized. So if I'm working on Fizzbo's expired or whatever, then I'm, I have my addresses of the expired that I'm going after or my Fizzbo's. Here's my open house leads. There's my Fizzbo's right there. There's my expired. And then there's my online marketing leads. So this is all my leads. And then I have the addresses of the ones that I'm going after down this way. Got all their information on this way. And then I got my follow-up marketing campaign here to keep me organized. And I'm checking every day what I'm doing and making my comments, right? So week one, I'm going to call to preview the home. There's scripts. Follow the scripts. Don't lie to them and tell them you have a buyer because you don't, you know? And that's where you hopefully will get their email as well. And now you can drip them with an email FISBO tip number one. Just, just separate that kit that I gave you. Week two, I'm going to send them a FISBO survival kit. Email FISBO tip number two. Uh, and week three, I'm going to send them a thank you mail out. And I'm always going to email them. You see that? Every week. Then I'm going to call them. Then I'm going to email them. Then I'm going to text them. Then Because by then, I should have a phone number. Then I'm going to mail them my 20-step marketing. Then I'm going to call them. And then I'm, by then, hopefully, I would have converted them or I'm going to decide what I'm going to do with them at that point. But you see how easy this is? You got 10. You wake up on Monday morning. You're like, oh, this is what I got to do today for my 10 people. Get it out. You wake up next week on Monday morning. Get it out. So you need follow-up organization. And you don't have to be fancy and purchase all these systems. You, need, you can use Excel, guys. And even if you don't have Microsoft on your computer, you can use Google Docs or Google Excel. So... No excuses, guys. We need a follow-up system because I promise you, if you're putting out a lot of effort and energy in lead generation, but you're not converting into clients, it's because your follow-up systems are in trouble. So we need that, guys. Okay? Any questions on that? All right. Let's keep going, guys. So that's in getting the appointment, the listing appointment. Now you got the appointment. Now what tools need to be in my tool ball to actually make this happen? So first, the pre-listing presentation. Most agents um, don't do even do a pre-listing presentation. They just show up at the listing presentation, right? Well, your pre-listing presentation uh, can, can actually do a couple of things. You can do... Um, several things. So the first thing I'm going to recommend to you guys is the 20 step marketing. You know, that's easy. It's a, it's that nice fold out that talks about, um, you know, what you do for marketing, what we, what, uh, what are we going to be doing actually to sell the home? So you can, you can do that. You can send it digitally. Um, you can send them the listing presentation digitally as well. And that way they, they can review it, uh, first, you know, you can send it to them as a link, which is right here in the VAC system. VAC system, I'm sorry. There's a luxury brochure, which is awesome. Ooh, that link isn't working. I'm gonna have to tell them. Let's see here. Yeah, this one is. So this is the listing presentation, and it's in a it's in a nice. Um, I love ESU, by the way. You can, if you have things on PDF, you can go to this website, ESU.com. Um, and you can convert them into this type of presentation. So just a quick tidbit information if you guys are going to do a presentation to someone online. But see how cool that is? That's our actual presentation. So you can send it to them already so they can review it digitally, right? 
you can also mail it or you can drop it off yourself first. That way when you get there, you're ready to rock and roll, right? Um, so that's one thing you can start doing. There's also, like I said, the 20 set marketing plans. There's, um, you can do your own like introduction letter of you and your team, which is also a really cool thing. There's also a, a ton of different resources online. Um, I did a class on just pre-listing packages and presentation. And now uh, you can do pre-listing package sample. You can see some of what other people are doing. Um, so even Inman News has a really good sample on, on what to do and what to put in there. Your personality. Um, most agents do not even do a pre-listing, but I think it will set you apart if you actually do it. Some agents, or oh, there was one agent from the East um, who would actually deliver uh, an iPad with the presentation. And then they would... Basically, they, they would collect the iPad at the presentation, but it was kind of really cool to be able to get an iPad delivered to you with what, you, what to expect in that in that meeting, you know? It's really nice. So we have that available for you guys. And then um, for, pre uh, for your listing presentation, well, you guys don't have to worry because we have them printed for you at the office. Um, you can order them um, through here, through flyers and brochures if you want them personalized. We have cover for covers for you guys. You know, in the VAC system, it's under resources, marketing, and then it's under listing presentation. I just showed you guys the link, but I'm going to show you the download. If you're on Mac, you're going to download it on Keynote. If you're on PowerPoint, you can open it here. And if it downloads in PowerPoint, then of course the cool part is that you get to edit it and you get to insert slides and do all this cool stuff. So let me show you what that looks like. So this is what the printed version would look like. And you guys have seen this at our office. Now, maybe you feel like it's too long. Maybe you really don't care or don't think your client's gonna care about this page. You can delete, you can insert, let's insert a new slide. And now right here, I'm gonna talk about my team. This is something you guys should be doing already. You should have this already ready to roll. They should all be the same and streamlined. And I'm gonna put pictures in here, you know, work with PowerPoint, customize it to you. Um, you can print these in really nice paper. We have covers for you guys, or pick up one that's already printed in the office. They're free, guys. So. There's no reason why you should be going to the to the uh, to the listing presentation without one. There's so many agents that don't have access to stuff like this, guys. You, this will make you stand apart. Be professional. There's also different different um, forms that you can start um, to print, like the Matterport page. If you're going into like um, a really high end listing, then you can talk to them about like 3D virtual tours that are offered. That's what, that's coming out of your pocket. So make sure you understand the cost. You know they're from anywhere from two fifty up to six hundred dollars. So make sure you check that first. Um, there's different other like the luxury listing presentation. That's completely different. Let me look. Let me open up the marketing proposal. This is one good one. That like an easy email or an easy drop off to actually um, talk to them about your marketing proposal, and you can edit it. And this is a good pre-listing presentation as well. So you get to pick, guys. There's no right or wrong answer. It's just being professional and having it all ready. Um, okay, so let's keep going because we're running out of time. Oh, no, we didn't. We started a little bit later, actually. I was freaking out, guys. I thought it was, we started at 5.30. Okay, CMA for your listing appointment. Of course, you're going to have to um, do a comparative market analysis, and that is going to be, of course, an arm list. I'm not going to do one right now. We're going to – MLS will be at our office tomorrow doing training on this. So be there, guys, or always remember, you can go to my YouTube channel, and you're going to go to, you can always Google my name, Monica Berrigan, Berkshire Hathaway. You can go to my channel right here, and I have a whole video for you guys, and you should start practicing these now, not waiting uh, for your appointment, because if you're not ready, it's going to just happen, and you're going to be freaking out. But there is one in here on how to create an accurate comparative market analysis. I know there's one in here. I don't know where it went, guys. Oh, wait, it's probably over here. 
but you guys can always do this as well. No? It's because it's under view more. So you can see view more videos and it's one of the first ones I did actually. Um, create an accurate comparative market analysis. We're gonna talk about marketing your real estate listings right now, but I wanna remind you guys that there's also a whole webinar just on that. <coughs> so be sure to learn and time block for that. Okay, paperwork, um, remember you guys are gonna need, and I would take this with me already with my listing presentation or have it on my iPad so they could sign it right there and there. But you're gonna need a listing agreement, the BAC, you're gonna need the real estate agency disclosure, um, take the seller property disclosure statements with you already so you can leave them there and they can fill them out, uh, marketing service agreement, etc. You should have a checklist of this, you should have uh, you have a PDF all scanned, all your paperwork uh, in your computer somewhere so that you don't, you're don't you not scrambling all the time. You need to have all this paperwork together. And if you ever want to know, oops, sky scanner is not where I'm going. If you ever want to know what um, paperwork is for what kind of type of transaction, it's very easy. You, you can just go into SkySlope and pretend like you're going to open a new transaction and then see what, what is uh, for that transaction. But it's pretty easy because I'll show you really quick, manage listings. You won't have any, of course, in here, I'm, I, I have access to all of them. But when you click on it, when you open a new transaction, you can see the checklist of all the things that are gonna be required. So start learning this and have this already on a PDF somewhere from zip forms put it on your computer already so that when you do have that listing appointment, you're ready to ro rock and roll. You're gonna need the BAC, uh, lead base if it applies, the listing agreement, HOA if it applies, market conditions advisory, marketing service agreement disclosure, the MLS plan will comes later. So um, that's after you enter it. So look at this list and see what you already need so you're ready to go. Real estate agency disclosure you're gonna have to take with you, the SPUDs, and tax ownership printout, that's in monsoon, so you don't have to worry about it. And you want to put together a packet with your wire fraud disclosure. So look at those items needed. Create your little packages because it's law of attraction. If you're ready to go for listing appointments, and the universe will deliver them, guys. Okay, so paperwork, service agreement, et cetera. So any questions on what you need for the listing appointment? Any comments, any concerns, any ideas? I'll let you guys ask. I think we're good. Okay, guys, let's keep going. All right. For marketing a property, oh, fun times, right? This is where we get to collect more sellers and buyers. Okay, so photography, guys, you have access through the VAC um, to look at some of our preferred photographers. Um, you can get a referral from me, from one of the agents at the office. I have all wide range of different photographers. Uh, Lister Assist is a really cool service. They do some really awesome photos, but they're more like a full service for you because not only do they take the photos, but they actually enter the listing for you. They put up the post. It's like a, like a package and you pay for everything. So that's another one, it's called Lister Assist. Or like I said, find a photographer, or you can do your own photography too. If you if you have a camera and you're really awesome with photo taking, go for it. I'm just not very good at it at all. <laughs> marketing checklist, guys. In the VAC, we have inserted already the marketing checklist. So when we go in here, it's under resources, and then it's under marketing. And it's at the bottom. And um, ooh, here's a 20 step marketing brochure that I keep talking to you guys about. You can print it and send it as a pre-listing presentation or we have them printed there at the office. But this is what I'm talking to you guys about. And there's a luxury one as well. But it talks to them about um, what we offer for them as marketing. Okay, sorry, just wanted to show you that. Um, okay, marketing checklist for listing. So you can open that and there it is. Pretty sure it's gonna be this one, but it tells you what you need to do step by step, and then where do you find it? Who do we contact or where to go? 
So you guys don't even have to create a system for marketing your properties. They're all right here. And they're telling, and it's telling you exactly where to go. How cool is this, guys? You should be using this to its fullest potential. And you can tweak it, of course. And maybe you do Facebook advertising. You want to throw it in here. Actually, it's right here, too. So um, customize this to how, whatever it is that you're doing. And um, use it. This is a system. So now you guys didn't even realize, but you have a system for your listing, marketing your listings. And like I said, it tells you exactly where to find everything and all the tools that are on this checklist guys and we give them to you guys for free the only extra stuff that you are going to be doing because remember we give you guys a free website for your listing uh for you free qr code the app, there's so much stuff right the only thing that you would be probably spending money on would be like well the photos you have to do that and if you're doing like facebook advertising or different things but we give you free flyers tells you how to order them where to order them um, virtual tours if you want to do that. there's free sites so get really familiar with this checklist guys because you're going to go through it completely and in my other webinar on marketing your listings i actually went through each of the all the checklists and where what to do and a little bit more advice and on how to do it so that's your system for that uh the marketing the vac side obviously um within your system of the vac all of your uh marketing for your listings appears so it's under uh listings and then manage and reports give you traffic reports on website views and stuff like that but it'll pull up your your listings and i don't have listings guys i only have some co-listings with a few people but there's one right there and all of your marketing for it is right here so it gives you you can edit the photo how it shows up on on the websites the verbiage, banners, price, social networking, listing and syndication. You want to make sure everything is working there. Click here to add an open house. You can add that in the MLS as well. Um, it gets its own website. So photos, virtual show reports, gives you the traffic reports. Isn't that cool? you need to be sending this guys to your clients so they can see how how hard we work for them right so there's a ton of things that that are in here that you can start doing some reports oops i'm gonna manage so this where shows you listings uh seller reports all listings viewed on your website different things that you can communicate the seller to so they could see why you're doing your job so Everything's here. Um, you can send people to the exact website of your of your listing so that they could use it as a landing page. You can drive people there from Facebook. I mean, it's pretty cool, all the stuff that are that's in here. So it's its own marketing hub in itself. So make sure you get familiar with this one as well. And then we got uh, flyers and go-to-marketing. And we talked a little bit about that. In order to get to go-to-marketing, it's under, it's this website right here. It's under resources and marketing. And that's for the free uh, free 50 flyers you guys get on hard stock paper, regular paper. And then remember, you guys get 100 free color at the office. So use them, guys, that just listed and just sold. They're already ready there to go. You just plug in your MLS numbers, and you can pick the different templates, and you're, you're done. Do not lose out on opportunities to market, guys, on anything. Um, the collection program, that is specific to our luxury division. So... Uh, that's going to have its own marketing, its own 20 step marketing, its own, uh, its own, uh, listing presentation. Like I showed you here under resources, oops, sorry, back here, resources, marketing, and then luxury marketing program. So that's going to give you the price points, the brochure, and then the steps so you can understand how it works, the implementation and all that. Learn it because you need to really be able to ex uh, express to the seller exactly what you're doing. Um, remember, our marketing department handles this for you. So you just pay a $100 upfront fee for it. Um, and it's like a six month campaign that's well worth much more than that. And then you, when it does close, you pay another, I think it's $150 or something like that. So great program, guys. I would say 99% of our luxury agents use it. They put their listings there and they focus on what's important, which is getting more appointments. All right. Um, Zillow, uh, when you're marketing a property, 
Now remember, the, the biggest thing with Zillow, guys, is make sure your account is set up correctly um, through your Berkshire account because when you have listings, we do pay for an upgraded version for you guys, which means that uh, you will not have competition of other realtors on the side when you do look for a property. So let's see here. Let me find a house. Um, let's see if this one's still listed. Let's see if I can figure it out. So when it comes up, typically what'll happen is here's the property. And it says here, you can contact the agent. And typically what'll happen is it'll show three agents that, that you can contact. Actually, this one's not listed anymore, so it's, that's why it's not working. But it shows up three listings that are three agents that are um, that you can contact for that. And because you're a Berkshire agent, that doesn't happen. It's only you who shows up. So make sure your Zillow account is set up correctly because there's a million people that visit Zillow all the time and they're looking at listings there, guys. And, and it's important to get pick up those leads. And this is something that no other brokerage has. So it's really important that you guys leverage this. So what I'll tell you about Ziller, Ziller about Zillow is that you guys need to set up your profile. It's really easy. You just put it under um, login and agent hub and you just a photo information and stuff like that. So it's not a big deal guys. Get a lot of um, testimonials for Zillow. That's really important guys. We're living in the digital age. People are Googling you. They're wanting to know more about you before they start working with you. And then the traffic reports, I kind of went over them as well. They're inside the VAC system. Um, and this is for your listings, so you can run several different types of reports. So you can tell them what type of traffic you're getting on their listing. All right, so let's go to the next. For escrow tools, now that you you picked up the appointment, I'm sorry, you, you you're generated the appointment by your prospecting, you got the appointment, you went on the listing presentation, and now you're going to escrow. Don't you love that, right? So again, your database is going to be key here, guys. Um, you have to, the, one of the number one complaints of the consumer is that the agent does not stay in touch enough. So you really got to start thinking about some type of campaign. Our VAC system, we can do custom campaigns, guys, with messages like, you know, you can do a campaign with 10 emails long that, that um, keeps them in touch or up to date with what's happening in their escrow process. That way you're streamlining it and you don't have to manually do this. It takes a lot of more work. I mean, if you're doing 10 deals a month, it's going to be harder, you know, to actually remember to do this. But eventually your systems need to include this kind of um, streamlined campaign where you're telling them, congratulations, your offer was accepted. Here's what to expect next. Congratulations, after the 10 days, you know, our inspection period is over. Here's what to expect next. Congratulations, you know, things like that so that you stay in touch with them and they're always in the know. If you can take it from text campaigns to video campaigns, even much more powerful. So right now, guys, if you're not too busy, this is the stuff you need to be working on. Status updates, like I said, will include that, the manual, how find out right away from your seller what's the best form of communication for them. If it's text, email, or phone, don't assume. And um, make sure you have a system set up for that as well. And then also a system for asking for the referrals. A lot of the times, especially in real estate, we wait around. We, we you know wait around for the appraisal. We wait around for you know the inspection, all those things. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't be in touch with them. And there's there should be a strategy for you on whether you're doing this verbally or you're sending them emails or you're sending them text messages or even mail outs, right? So make sure guys that you're asking for those referrals. And then you got to have your system set up for a closing gift. You know, what am I going to do? Do I have a, a lady who, or a man with the business that helps me, uh, that I get baskets from? Is it something from Costco? Is it, what happens at the closing? You know, is it, do I do a photo op? Do I go to the closing table? This is totally up to you. There's no right or wrong, but the more attention you give these sellers and buyers, you know, the more they're going to remember you and the more they're going to try to give you those referrals. So do you have a closing gift in place? And what does that actually look like? Again, if you're not super busy right now, these are the things you need to be starting to set up in a checklist. Um, you need to have a, a prospecting system. You need to have a, a marketing system. And you also need to have um, your escrow system in. 
and you know closing system and what i mean by that is just checklists you know what happens from a to z during the the the, the lead generation what happens from a to c during the listing presentation what happens during the actual escrow process this is the time guys to really put it all together because you have a ton of choices there's so many marketing um, uh, choices you have in our systems it's just about making a decision committing to it and then streamlining it um, so what questions may you have right now any questions at all So if we don't have any questions, I'm actually going to end the webinar, guys. Um, for any of the material, just reach out to me. Many of you guys have it already. But please do reach out to me, guys, because this is a year to really pick up those listings. With one listing, buyers come, sellers come. You should be your focus. Ask for it every morning. See it in conviction and your envisioning. And make it happen for yourself, guys. You need to be a top listing agent, period. See yourself as that, and it will happen. Again, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me directly. Thank you so much for being part of my webinar. I'm going to end the recording now. There will be a replay, so be sure to come back and look it over and over to look at specifics as to where to find things. Thank you guys once again. Have a very good evening, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.